Coming up, in this video, you will learn how to launch the Beaver Builder Editor so that you can start creating and editing your WordPress pages today. We will also cover some troubleshooting tips just in case you still can't open a page to edit it using Beaver Builder. Hey there, I'm Jennifer Franklin with Beaver Builder and on this channel, I share with you tips on how to use Beaver Builder to build WordPress websites in minutes, not months. If you're new here, consider subscribing and ring the bell to get notified of upcoming videos. There are a number of different ways to launch the Beaver Builder editor. And depending upon your version of WordPress, it may look different for you. In this video, I will show you how to access the Beaver Builder editor from both the WordPress block editor and the classic editor, as well as from other locations in the WordPress admin panel or admin bar. Plus, we will go over some troubleshooting tips just in case you are still having trouble opening a page to edit it using Beaver Builder. But before we dive in, let's chat about the built-in WordPress editor. Beginning with version five, WordPress uses the block editor, also called the standard editor or Gutenberg editor by default. And if you aren't sure which version of WordPress you have installed, you can head over to your WordPress dashboard. Here you can scroll down and you'll see your current version of WordPress in the bottom right hand corner. Before the block editor, WordPress had what is called the classic editor. If you wanna use the classic editor to edit pages in WordPress, you have to install a plugin to restore it. We found that the classic editor plugin, as well as the disabled Gutenberg plugin, both work with Beaver Builder. Most of the other plugins are untested, but would be expected to work. If you are using a third-party plugin to restore the classic editor and run into a problem, we encourage you to open a Beaver Builder support ticket. I'm gonna leave links to support as well as everything that we will talk about in this video in the description below this video. One more thing to note, by default, the Beaver Builder editor is enabled for page layouts only. What this means is that out of the box, you won't be able to edit posts or other custom post types using Beaver Builder unless you enable posts and custom post types by going to settings, Beaver Builder, post types. Here you will notice that only the pages box is checked. If you select posts, you can use Beaver Builder to design the content area of single posts. If you have custom post types, you will see them listed here and can enable the use of Beaver Builder to lay out the content area of single custom posts. If you have additional questions about the different tabs on the setting page, I encourage you to watch our video that walks through each one of these Beaver Builder settings. You will find a link to that video as well as more helpful resources in the description below. Now that we've covered a few helpful tips, let's talk about how to launch the Beaver Builder editor so that you can get started using Beaver Builder to build beautiful WordPress layouts. First up, here's how to launch Beaver Builder from the WordPress block editor. When you create a new page, or open an existing page in the WordPress block editor, you'll see the choice of launch Beaver Builder or use standard editor as you see here. To open up the Beaver Builder editor, go ahead and click on launch Beaver Builder. This will open up the Beaver Builder editor. You will see the Beaver Builder logo in the top left corner. If this is your first time using Beaver Builder, a helpful pop-up appears to walk you through getting started. For additional resources, you can click on the gray arrow in the top left-hand corner. This will open up the tools menu. Scroll down and click on help. From here, you can watch a quick intro video, take a tour, view the knowledge base or contact support. If you would like additional training on how to edit pages with Beaver Builder, I encourage you to keep watching our video series. I'll link up to it in the description below. Next, you will learn how to launch Beaver Builder from the WordPress Classic Editor. In this example, we have the Classic Editor plugin installed, which as we talked about earlier, restores the WordPress editor that came before the block editor, Gutenberg. Go ahead and click on Beaver Builder. Just like in our example with the block editor, this will open up the Beaver Builder editor. One thing to note, if you have already published your Beaver Builder page, then you will see that the text editor tab is grayed out and the Beaver Builder tab is visible. Here, you can simply click on launch Beaver Builder 
If you're using the classic editor plugin and you don't see the Beaver Builder tab, one way to make it appear is to force the use of classic editor rather than the WordPress block editor. To do this, you wanna head over to settings and select no for allow users to switch editors. If you want users to continue to have a choice of WordPress editor for each page or post they create, then you can check yes. And then you can use any of the other methods that I will talk about coming up next to open the Beaver Builder editor. The next way to launch the Beaver Builder editor is from the all pages list. Go to pages and click on all pages. Hover over a page in the pages all pages list then click the Beaver Builder link to launch the Beaver Builder editor. When a Beaver Builder layout already exists for a page, the Beaver Builder link is followed by a green button. If a Beaver Builder layout hasn't been created yet, it's followed by a pale gray or white button. Next, I will show you how to display only Beaver Builder pages or posts. When you're viewing the list of pages or posts in WordPress, either pages, all pages, or posts, all posts from the WordPress admin panel. You'll click on Beaver Builder, as you see here, to show all of your pages created using Beaver Builder. And finally, you can launch Beaver Builder from the WordPress admin bar. If you're viewing a page and you're logged in, the WordPress admin bar appears at the top of the page. Simply click the Beaver Builder link to edit the page. Again, you will see the green dot indicating this page was created using Beaver Builder. When a Beaver Builder layout hasn't been created yet, the Beaver Builder link is followed by a pale gray button. Now, if you've gotten this far and are still having trouble launching the Beaver Builder editor, I'm gonna share with you some troubleshooting tips. The first tip is if you can't edit a page or post in Beaver Builder because you don't see the tab. There are two possible solutions in this scenario. First, check to make sure that Beaver Builder is enabled for that page or post type. I shared this tip with you in the very beginning because it is so common. We went to settings, Beaver Builder, and clicked on post types. Make sure the correct checkbox is selected for the page or post type that you want to edit. Click on save post types to save your changes. Next, you will want to make sure Beaver Builder is enabled for the correct user roles. From the WordPress admin panel, again, you'll go to settings, Beaver Builder. This time, click on user access. In the builder access field in the front end section, make sure the user role is enabled for the user having the problem. For example, you can see here that we have allowed administrator, editor, author, contributor, as well as shop manager. Another problem is that you may not be able to see the Beaver Builder admin bar at the top of the page. You should see the Beaver Builder logo in the top left-hand corner, the name of the page that you're editing, along with on the right-hand side, a done button. The first thing to check is that your URL settings match in the WordPress admin. Go to settings and click on general. One instance is when www is present in one URL, but not the other, as you see in this example. This can also occur if you use SSL or the HTTPS for one URL and HTTP for the other URL. The other cause is most likely a conflict with another plugin installed on your site. To see which plugin may be causing the problem, you can go to plugins, click on installed plugins, and simply go through and disable each plugin one at a time, each time checking to see if the problem has been resolved. To keep watching, click on the next video in our Getting Started series. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video.